it's Wednesday and I am here to do my very best to get you guys through the rest of the week um, this is number three of my motivational Wednesday series hoping everything has been going well for you guys um, I'm hoping you guys have relating more to your heart than what's going on in your head because sometimes we um, think too much about what's going on instead of actually feeling um, what we need to feel so yeah so let me go ahead and get started um, I didn't know which way I wanted to go this coming Wednesday I had to really think and pray about it so the word positivity came to mind so that's what I'm going to talk about for this motivational Wednesday staying positive and staying uplifted is very difficult to do especially during a time that we really don't we can't see better days basically so um, staying positive is very difficult to do and oftentimes when we're not positive we're usually negative and when we're negative we're affecting other people's lives and we don't want to be that way we want to make sure that we try to stay in a positive space so that not so so not only are we um, helping ourselves but we help or helping the people around us for example when I'm um, not necessarily in a negative space but when I'm in um, like a sad space or an emotional space my son can kind of feel that and so I don't want him to get that kind of energy from me so I do my very best to try to put myself in a positive and uplifting um, space so that I'm not um, giving out negative and bad energy basically so yes yeah, so you want to try your best um, as I feel more from your heart don't overthink things and there's a couple of positive quotes that I want to throw in here really quickly I may even put it on the screen so let's see here one of them is if people are doubting how far you can go go so far that you can't hear them anymore love that so there's people who are doubting what you what you can do or what you said you're going to do and they're always talking negative talking um, basically say you can't do it I don't know why you're trying putting all the negative stuff in your head you want to just keep going and keep going until you get so far that it no longer exists and this quote is from Michelle Ruiz and then another quote is let's see it says, you can't control how other people receive your energy. Anything you do or say gets filtered through the lens of whatever personal stuff they are going through at the moment, which is not about you. Just keep doing your thing with as much integrity and love as possible. And so that's another uplifting um, quote making sure you try to stay positive about the things that are happening around you even though you may not see even though you can't really pull any positivity from what's going on around us but yeah it's basically it's the only way we can make it through because no one knows the future you know we've had all these plans and we were going to do all these different things but that's no longer and we don't even know what our future looks like but but God we have to remember what God we serve and he is able to do all things. So um, if you believe that God can eradicate this virus and eradicate racial injustices from this world, it can happen. You just have to believe and pray about it. And so, um, yeah, that's where I draw all of my strength from. I draw all my strength from the Lord. Um, I sometimes lean on my husband. <laughs> You know when I have to cry and you know that type of thing but all my energy everything that I need comes from the Lord so that's where I usually um, he's the one who lifts me up again when I'm down I can't say it enough I mean he's helped me through so much and he's the only thing that has helped me during this time because it's a it's an unknown we made plans those plans are no longer so everything is unknown and we're not quite sure how long things are going to be like this but we have to make sure we stay positive and look towards um, the future and believe that there are no, that there's nothing but good in the future we have to believe that because if you put out that negativity that's all that's going to come back to you 
But if you continue to put out positivity and good energy, you're going to get all that back. So that's what you want to put out there, the positive energy, the good energy. So that way all that comes back to you. Because the more you say, oh, this is not going to happen. Oh, the world is never going to change or you know if you keep putting that kind of stuff out there it's going to start affecting you and those people around you it sound like a broken record it sound like i, I said this <laughs> but i want to express to you how important it is to put out positive energy um there are times where i had to catch myself i find myself out and about talking to people and i'm going through something you know eternally or whatever and my mind isn't and my attitude isn't right, so I have to check myself. I'm thinking, um, this isn't what you want to put out there. You don't want this person now feeling um, your negative energy. So you have to change that. You have to, <laughs> you have to stay positive and stay with a positive mind. It sounds like I'm rambling, and I'm hoping you guys understand what I'm saying to you. Um, it would, it would have probably been better if I wrote notes and things like that, but God laid this on my heart like at the last minute, so I needed to get it out. So I do apologize if it sounds a little um, confusing, but I'm doing my very best to try to make it as clear as possible. The bottom line is put out positive energy, you get positive energy back. You put out negative energy, you get negative energy back. We have to be mindful of that. So the scripture that I want to give to you guys today to help you throughout the rest of your week is, it comes from 2 Corinthians um, chapter 12, verse 10. When you've done everything you can do, that's when God will step in and do what you can't do. Okay, so when you feel as if you're at your wit's end and um, you there's nowhere else to turn, that's when God usually steps in. That's what he did with my, um, when I was, I'm looking to get married, I gave up, I said I've done everything and then boom, my husband came into my life. It's the same thing when I was trying to conceive and have my son. Um, there was heartbreak after heartbreak after heartbreak and my husband and I agreed okay we'll try one more time if it doesn't happen it's not what God wants for us boom got pregnant so it's usually when um we're at our wits end and we don't know what else to do that's when God usually steps in and say hey don't give up I got you I'm right here and we gonna make it through together so just remember that stay um stay uplifted um continue to pray and believe that God will help you through whatever it is you're going through. Um, read your word, read the Bible, that always helps. And if you have anyone to talk to, whether it be your friends, family members, a counselor, a therapist, whomever, talk your feelings out. That way you're not holding all that stuff in, okay? Well, I wanna thank you guys so very much for watching. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Talk to you soon. Bye.